Hello from Clothing Mountain. Hey everybody and welcome to my very first fashion favorites video. So this series kind of birthed out of my regular favorites. You guys know if you've been watching my favorites, especially the past like six or so months, I've been trying to incorporate fashion items into my favorites videos. But as you can see this month, I have a lot of fashion favorites. And so I decided to just do a whole separate video that way. Also, if any of you all aren't interested in my fashion favorites at all, you don't have to watch them. So if you are interested in watching my fashion favorites, this is also a try on video. I know that is one thing you guys have asked over and over and over every time I do a fashion videos for it to be a try on. So I finally like adjusted my setup, brought it over there and I tried it on for you. So I'm going to try to do a split screen situation here. I've never done that in my movie editor. So pray for me. I hope it works. Anyways, let's get on to some fashion favorites. So I have two Obey shirts to talk about. I'm actually wearing one Obey shirt right now that is really similar to what I'm going to show you. This one I just got like a year ago, so I don't think you'll be able to get it anymore, but I'm going to show you in case, in case you can. I'll try to find it for you guys. But the first shirt I want to show you guys is this Obey long sleeve. So this is what it's looked like. It's like an over dye kind of bleach wash long sleeves, and it says Obey Worldwide in this like crazy font down both sleeves. I am obsessed with this shirt. I literally bought it the second I saw it. It is also like so stupid soft and stretchy. I don't know what they did to this material, but it is so incredibly soft. It almost feels like, you know, if you ever owned flannel sheets and like you get those flannel sheets that like you have been in your family for ages and they've just been like worn in and are so soft. That's kind of how these feel, but it's just, it's just a cotton shirt. It's 100% cotton. I have mine in a size small, but it is just so freaking cute and cool. Like I love wearing this with like joggers to go for like kind of more of like a streetwear style. I don't know. I just think this is really, really cool. I might end up cropping it just cause I'm obsessed with crop tops. Um, but this is the first shirt. It's by Obey. I got mine at Zoomies and I believe it's around $35. I will try to have the prices for sure listed on the screen or in the description box. Okay, next top. This one's kind of summery and this is the one I was saying is a similar fit to the shirt I'm wearing right now. This one is again by Obey. And there's this shirt. I bought mine in a medium. These are oversized fit. So if you're shopping online, just keep in mind they are a bit of an oversized fit and they're just kind of a really soft cotton material. These ones also wear in really well. This is again the same kind of style as the one I'm wearing right now. And it just has this really, really cool graphic on it with the skull and the flowers and the two scythes. Scythes? I think they're what they're called. The, like, Grim Reaper tool. But, um, I think this one was $27 around there. Um, under 30 bucks, but over 20 bucks, I believe. And I just love the color of this one, especially with a little bit of fake tan. I think it's such a cool color. I think this color will wash me out a little bit when my fake tan goes away, but... I always have bottles of fake tan on me, so I just really like this mauve shade, especially when I do my eyeshadow, like how I'm doing today, just like kind of a natural, like, red tone, smoky eye. I just think it is really, really cool, and you can wear this with blue jeans, black jeans, anything like that. It's really cute. The next top, and this is the last, like, actual, like, shirt I have, and then a lot of these are bottoms. Um, the next top is from Vans, and it's just, it looks like just a super plain white t-shirt, right? And it just has a little pocket with a little Vans tag on it. But on the back, it has off the wall embroidered. Like, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but like, it's straight up embroidered on there. It is so cool. And this material is like thick and stretchy. Like, it doesn't feel like a regular cotton t-shirt. I don't know what material this is made of, but it's just so thick and stretchy and comfortable. And it's nice and, like, fitted, but kind of boxy tee style. I've been really, really into just, like, plain white tops, whether it's, like, a tank top or, like, a ribbed tank top or a t-shirt. I've been really into just bright white clothes with light wash jeans, and I just think this is such an awesome one because it's a plain tee, but it's not, like, totally simple. You know what I mean? I've been loving this shirt. It's so rad. I feel like I'm going to love it for fall because it is such a thick cotton t-shirt. I feel like it'll keep you warm a little bit better. All right, and now we have some pants and some sweaters. So the first pair of pants I want to talk to you guys about are the 
These are skinny ankle high waist denim from H&M. I got these for like 40 bucks and I got these because I've been really needing, I've been so into like the boyfriend jean trend and like the mom jean trend that I've been really needing a pair of high waisted jeans. Like true high waisted where they hit my natural, like the smallest point of my waist right like right up here I've been really needing a pair of just true high-waisted distressed black jeans because I this is like literally my only pair so as you'll see from me trying them on they're super high-rise the only thing that I don't really like about these jeans is that the little zipper cover needs to be a little bit bigger like when I zip them up you can still see part of the zipper right here when I like have them on but other than that these are really stretchy and really comfortable they're nice and thick too they don't feel like jiggings because like jiggings feel you know not very sturdy these ones feel really sturdy and stretchy they have the right amount of rips to them they are a little bit long so I think I'm going to end up cutting them because I'm short I'm 5'4 for any of you guys wondering for preference or for reference and I'm also um the size 29 which which I'm gonna take a break and rant to you guys for a second if you guys follow my personal Instagram Which I know a handful of you do I've been really tackling body positivity lately And one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about are how bullshit H&M sizes are I by no means I really want to start shopping a little bit more consciously But it's hard it's sometimes hard to do it on a budget and I've never claim to be you know super conscious with my shopping other than my cruelty free makeup but it's something I want to get into more but I need to say that H&M sizes are absolute bullshit and you should never ever well all sizes are bullshit but H&M is especially bad with their sizes um you should never ever ever feel bad because of a number on a tag on an article of clothing. I have definitely been there. I've been in the fitting room being like, what, I have to like go up to a 30 or like whatever it may be. Like, I'm a 7 and not a 3. Like, it, and numbers are arbitrary, sizes are arbitrary, and H&M sucks with sizes. Like, the thing that sucks the most is that like, is that it's just hard to find your size. Like, usually sizes are meant so that it's easier to shop, you know? But I've tried on everywhere from a 24 to a 30, and things have fit me and things have not fit me in between. So I just want to say, H&M, fix your goddamn sizes because they, they're absurd. I've literally taken two of the exact same pair of jeans in the exact same size and one of them will fit and one of them won't so that just goes to show like one it goes to show that H&M needs to fix our quality control and two that sizes of pants are or sizes of anything are total BS they're just meant for organization purposes and, and shouldn't make you feel like crap about your body that was kind of a poorly organized rant, but I just needed to rant because body positivity is something that I have been really trying to tackle head on, and that's just one thing that bugs the crap out of me. But I've also been learning to accept that because that if I have to go up in, in size, it doesn't matter. It feels better to get better fitting, bigger sized things than trying to fit in to a, si a size that you think you're, you are and it not fitting properly. Does that make sense? That was such a poor, like I said, poorly organized rant, but I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. So that being said, I really like these jeans. I know it's terrible as I'm just ranting, but um, I have had luck with H&M jeans when I can find them in sizes that fit me, you know? So these, I tend to be around a 27 to a 29 if for like these type of sizes, I don't know what type of sizes that is but anyways those are the jeans just wanted to show you guys because y'all know I love me some good jeans wait I'm tossing all the clothes on my bed behind my setup I'm not just like throwing them in my room well I mean I am but I'm tossing them on my bed <laughs> anyways next item I want to talk to you about are a pair of Adidas leggings now Adidas like everybody and their dog and their grandma and their half sister are buying Adidas and wearing Adidas They're so trendy right now and whenever something is just like oversaturated trendy. I just kind of like uh, I'm just like oh my gosh, I can't but these ones were really really unique so these are just the Adidas like three stripe leggings but the stripes are floral they're so freaking cute and the little adidas symbol is like this gorgeous kind of peachy rose gold and these are just like 
such quality leggings. I mean, you guys know I've talked about the Adidas shorts twice on my channel. I love them. And these ones are around 35 bucks. They're just so comfortable. Like, they're, they honestly fit so well. I'm in the size, I'm a size small in mine. They just have a good amount of stretch. They don't stretch out. I hate, I hate when you get leggings and they stretch out and you get, like, ruffly butt. You know, they stretch out around your butt and, like, it just is, like, a ruffly mess under your butt cheeks. Like, no. Absolutely not. Or, like, it, like, crumples up in your crotch after they stretched out. Mm-mm. Nobody likes a crumply, crumply butt and nobody likes a crumply crotch. And these do not give you that. They just fit really, really well. And I will, like, I've worn them as, like, kind of, like, fashion outfits, but these are awesome just, like, leggings. Just if you need some good, cozy leggings, I, like... I do laundry in these, I clean in these, I go to the grocery store in these, and I will, like, every once in a while, like, I'll wear this with, like, a black crop top and, like, big white shoes, or, like, big white tennis shoes and stuff and kind of do a little athleisure outfit, but I wanted to shout these out because as much as I resent Adidas for being so overly trendy right now, their stuff is quality. Alright, speaking of more cozy wear and H&M, again, I know. I know, but these were just, these these screamed, I just needed them. So these are, again, from H&M, and these ones are just cozy, high-waisted, like, comfy shorts. They're kind of like softy shorts a little bit. Um, this style of short, again, is really popular right now. They kind of, like, come up at the sides, and they're, like, perfectly high-waisted. These ones are so freaking cute. I love them, and they're super comfy. They don't, like, ride up or anything. They have a nice, thick waistband. I'm in size small. They're, like, the H&M Basics, but... I love these. They were like 12 bucks. Again, these ones you can just like wear around the house and be cozy or you can like pop a crop top on and like some cute tennis shoes or like I always wear like my checkerboard slip-ons with these and wear them to like go out with like a cute little casual comfy outfit. So I have been loving these. I think they're so comfy and so cute and I definitely kind of want to pick up a black pair but I got the gray because I just thought they were they were really cute. These pants have been my favorite pants of all time ever. I can't remember if I've talked about these in a favorites video or not, so I'm sorry if I have talked about these before, but I need to talk to them, talk to you guys about them again. These are from Zoomies. They're um, the brand Empire, which is one of Zoomies house brands, so it's one of like Zoomies own brands, and these are the Easton, Easton? Easton boyfriend jeans, and these I, I seriously wear all the time. I probably wear these at least four days a week. They're amazing. I'm in the size five, these ones are like 35 bucks. They're pretty much always buy one, get one half off. And these ones are just so freaking comfy. I have noticed that as they came out with more styles of the boyfriend jeans, they don't fit like these ones. Like, I don't know. I can't fit into a five, or at least I can't fit into a five comfortably in the other ones, but these ones I can. Maybe it's just because they're broken in. Maybe it's just a placebo effect and I just need to wear other ones longer to where they break in because when you wash these they are tight at first but after like one day of wear they're a perfect amount of baggy they don't really have stretch to them they're a true kind of like denim like boyfriend jean they have really really cute rips in the knees I pretty much always keep mine um, cuffed at the bottom too I cuff them about three times but they're a good kind of mid-rise and I just I seriously wear these with everything I'll wear them with like baggy t-shirts tucked in I'll wear them with tight t-shirts I'll wear them with tank tops I'll wear them with like crop t-shirts like I wear these jeans to death I kind of actually want to pick up a backup pair because they're my favorite jeans in the world right now they're so cute I just mm, I can't okay down to our last two items the next is a pair of shorts from Vans these ones are like they're kind of like a twill material I'm in a medium and they're like if joggers were to become shorts, like if you were to cut a pair of joggers into shorts, they would be like these. So they're like that kind of material. They have nice, like nice sized, where are you, pocket? Slack pockets and a little drawstring. These ones I do kind of sit up a little bit higher rise. You can like make these a little bit lower rise, but I like to have them sit up a little bit higher on my waist, as you'll see in the like whatever side of the screen it is in the um when I'm trying them on but I just think these are really really cute and just like 
an easy outfit, especially for summer. Again, I will wear these with crop tops because I can make them kind of a mid-rise or I can pull them down to a low rise and like tuck in a baggy t-shirt or something like that. They're just really cozy, really comfy. I also skate in these a lot. I think they're really comfy for skating. Um, they are a little bit stiff. I will say like the elastic waistband doesn't stretch that much. So I, I kind of like I have to kind of squeeze into them, but they are still cozy, if that makes sense. Like, they're not totally stiff, just like a little bit stiff. So, again, these ones were from Vans, and I really like them. Okay, last item is, again, from Zoomies, and this is the brand Zine. As you guys, you guys have probably all seen Zine hoodies. They're really popular, just kind of their basic hoodies. But they came out with tie-dye ones, and I'm obsessed. The tie-dye ones are so much softer than the regular ones and they also run a lot bigger. I got mine in a size large for two reasons. One, I really liked the tie-dye pattern on the large because every single one comes in tie-dyed differently. This one had a lot of yellow to it. The other ones were a lot more pink and orange and I really liked the yellow. So I just picked up this large because I loved all the yellow on it. And two, they're just so cozy oversized and I really wanted to get mine like super oversized. So as you'll see in the in the thing I like it's really oversized but it's just so comfortable if you follow me on snapchat I think there was like a like two day streak where every single one of my snapchats I was wearing this sweater they're so cozy I also I love wearing this as like kind of a like cozy cute outfit with some like light blue like distressed shorts as I'll show you again in the um try on and like my checkerboard slip-ons and my hair up in a pony I just think it's such a cute simple outfit okay Gerard's. You can have your spot back now. Ah! Okay, you guys, so that was my fashion favorites lately. So, like, my July kind of fashion favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumb thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Let me know somehow that you want me to keep doing these fashion favorites. They probably won't be, like, every month. I'll probably do them every two or three months, depending on how many fashion favorites I have so let me know if that is something you want me to continue doing and I will definitely keep doing it for y'all um but other than that that's it so I love you all so much thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye